Hi. So this light that we have here it is called an ellipsoidal. Um, it is one of three main lights that we have here in the theater. This particular model is the ETC750. So we there are like a couple of main components. There's this part, and then there's the barrel, and then there's this part. I don't know the official names for it. But this part kind of holds the lens, so it basically dictates how, like the angle in which um, the light is cast on stage. Now this one I think is a 19 degree? No, yeah, okay. So here we go. We have the number of the angle written right here. So this one's a 19 degree and we have one other one and it's a 26 degree. So what this does is that you can like, it, like once again, it's the angle of the light that goes outwards. Um, to focus the light, there's this little knob here which you can loosen and it moves as you can move this up and down um, to make it a very sharp focus light, almost like a spotlight, or you can make it a general wash depending on how well you focus this light. Okay, um, we have these little knob things and preferably I like to use them with all of them pulled out but it also depends on the situation that you use them in. So these are kind of like the barn doors you saw earlier, but internal. So you push them in and you can kind of change the way that the light is shaped. Um, you can also use this to input these fun little things called gobos. Uh, I think I passed them all away, so I'm just going to have to assemble them. So here's the actual gobo itself. It's like a shape in which you can cast on stage. So let's pull out this window pattern gobo. So this is the pattern that goes inside the light, so you have to have one of these things to put it in. Um, so you just slide it in here. So this is what it's supposed to look like. And then there's this little slot right here, and you can just put them in all the way until you feel that little click. And then that's where you're... Um, then when the light comes out, it should have that pattern. Now some of these are a little burnt, you can tell, because they have this little tinge to them. Okay, like this one especially. They have a little tinge to them. That usually means it's time for you to replace a gobo. Oh, especially this one. See, it's got this kind of bluishness to it. That means it's been burnt by the light because it's been either in there too long or it's been used a little too frequently. So I usually try to avoid using the ones that have been burnt more just because it will damage it more. But I guess if you need it, it's necessary. All right. So that's how you put in a gobo. And then I'll show you how to put in a gel. So there are a bunch of these cute little gel things in the booth. Um, they should have the number of the color written down in the corner. And you want the smallest one and you want to put them into the stack that I showed you in the tech closet. And just slide it in here in the very front. Like this. So you can slide it here and you can slide it closer if you want to, depending on how it looks. And then there's this little latch, you need to make sure that you just you slide it to the left and then you click it down. To pop it up, you slide it to the right. No, you slide it back to the left again and then you pick it up. So you just have to keep sliding to the left. All right, and this is to make sure that this doesn't accidentally fall out anytime. I'm gonna show you guys how to change out the lamp. Cool. So there's this little brass knob right here, right? You're gonna need to twist that, loosen it all the way. Well, not all the way. Actually, yes, all the way. Until it comes loose. All right, so what should be in here is a lamp, but I think we had to take it out for parts. So the lamp should go in here and then that's, remember, it's the same for both any lamp that you use for all, any light. You want to not, not touch the lamp, okay? What does a lamp look like? Just like a fancy special light bulb, right? Yes. <laughs> I'll include a picture of it here. Okay, 
cool. So that's that's right here is a picture of a lamp. So um, you change it out. You just squeeze it, pick it out, and then it's pretty. What do you just squeeze? Squeeze and then pick it out, and then to put it in, you just slide it back in. So to put it back in, you correspond this little drill part here with this hole here, and you just place it back. You want to make sure that these stripe things are all are they lined up. Are they, well, they need to be lined up in order for it to slide back on. There you go. For it to slide back securely in place, no wiggle, no wobble. Cool. And then you tighten this, the same little brass knob at the top mm -hmm. to close it. And what does this number mean on the side? ETC 750, it's the type of lamp. What does it mean though, 750? It's just the model of lamp. It means 750 watts. Or that too. Which is usually how bright the bulb is. So that means this, this uh, housing is rated for a 750 watt bulb or a 750 watt lamp. Mm -hmm. So you can use smaller ones in it, but you can't use anything bigger. So this could not handle a thousand watts. It can only do 750. True story. Cool. This type of lamp is called a Fresnel. So this is a much shorter lamp, obviously. It tends to cast more of like a wash look since it's very small, but it's very broad. It's not as focused as a uh, ellipsoidal. So you can either have uh, the gel like this sliding into like kind of like an ellipsoidal same concept you slide it into the thing and this has a little notch on it same mechanic you just slide it to the left and pop it down this one is a little stuck sometimes so there you go and then you can attach these barn doors to it. Now, these things are the only things that can attach the barn doors to it. So you just slide it the same way that you would like a gel and just slide it in like this. I have a little thing to clasp onto it. Now, if you still want a gel and a barn door, there's a little slip right here which you can put in. Now you have to take it out of the this thing and you just slide the paper in like this. Ta-da! Then it just hangs upside down all the way up there. So this is kind of how the gels of the Fresnel work. I will show you about the lamp. So here is little. Let me just. This is little thing that you push inside. This is little lever that you push outside, and you hold it upside down. You kind of jiggle it a little bit so that the lamp goes out. This is just removing the lens first because yeah. the lamp is behind it. And it's okay if you touch the lens a little bit as yeah, long as this you, one it's fine. As long as you clean the lens afterwards though. Yes. And it's not gonna this might take me a while. It's stuck. Ha ah. Ta-da! Here's Here's the lens. Now the way that you can put in the lens influences the way that the light is cast on. So if you have it in with the lines, these little notches going horizontal, that means the light that's gonna come out is gonna be more horizontal. But if you situate it like this, where these little grooves and stuff are going um, vertical, that means the light that's gonna come out is gonna look more vertical. It's to kind of help aim stage similar to how these 
how the little barn doors work, but with much more focused. Inside, the very back, you see there's a little light, a little lamp. So similar concept, you know, don't really want to touch it as it might explode. So I'm just going to put this back. It should just pop. It's much more easier putting it in place than it is taking it out. So you can just slide it in, hopefully. So that's how you change the lens. How do you change the lamp? I will show you in just a second. We're gonna, I'm going to be talking about how to remove the lamp from it, since I showed you how to remove the lens earlier. So it's pretty much like the same thing as the ellipsoidal. There's this little brass knob at the end. Yes, you just unscrew it. I don't think, you don't have to unscrew it all the way. You're just gonna loosen this bad boy up. And then you just give it a little jiggle lightly. There's a lamp inside, so just, and voila. So here is the lamp. Remember, this is the one thing that you should not touch with your bare hands, otherwise it will explode. Now, to replace the lamp in case it goes out dull, uh, you should be technically doing it with gloves, but I'm not because, you know, I'm professional. You just pop it off like this, and then, ta-da, you have your lamp. You put this down, take another one, and it just slides back in like this. There's no click necessarily so it's since it's just sliding in so it should be fine and then to put the thing back in um, you see this little brass end of the screw you can align that with the hole right here yes this hole so you just gotta gently align this right here make sure not to scratch the lamp and then you see these little corner divots? They're supposed to align with this little notch right here. So you just gotta carefully, gently guide it down like this. So it should be secure even though you haven't tightened the brass thing yet. So once it's secure, no wiggling, you just tighten this bad boy until can't tighten it anymore, and that's how you change the lamp for a for now. So this is called a scoop light. So scoop lights tend to be they're more for general washes. We have a lot more of them. They're very, although they like broadcast a lot of light to a lot of area, and um, but they're not very strong lights. So they're more for washes of color. So they work similarly to how most of the other lights when you put in gels, this little, this little slide thing, you take it out and you just put the gel inside of this and then you put this and you just slide it into these areas here. Now this lamp inside a scoop light is one of the more fragile lamps. This one, you can't do what I did for either the Fernal or the lip soil and use your bare hands. This lamp, you need gloves because there's no way to actually grab it without touching the lens. Now since this lens is the most fragile, this one is the one where you want for sure not to get any like oil from your hands on because this will explode like almost immediately. So for this one, when you want to change the lamp, it's pretty much standard procedure, like how you change a normal light bulb. You just twist it, and it comes out. And then when you're, if you want to change it, you pop it back in and you twist it in. I'm not going to demonstrate that right now because I don't have gloves. So I'll just put this back in. And there you have it. Scoop. Ta-da!